Tennessee, the New York Yankees. The Yankees may also have believed that Mike Caldwell was using some kind of voodoo, though Iron Mike preferred to call it psychology. I've had success against them. They were one of the first clubs that I pitched well against, and it's just a mental attitude that I have. I'm very positive about pitching against them, and hopefully they're a little negative about facing me, and I just hope that the success continues. On July 27th, the Yankees opened a big three-game set in Milwaukee, and Caldwell offered this, how do you do? Naturally, this was not a posture Mr. Reggie Jackson cared for. Though Jackson has a reputation for often striking back with a home run on such occasions, he, like most of his teammates, hardly ever hits Caldwell. And this time was no exception. Something had to happen, and did. Gridiron style. Caldwell was injured in the melee, a disturbing blow to a club in the thick of a pennant race. It's been said that the Yankees bring out the best in the Brewers. But maybe it's the Brewers who bring out the worst in the Yankees. Cecil Cooper kept the evening alive. One, two, three home runs. The last was a ninth inning job that not only tied Ben Ogilvy's club mark, but won the game six to five. Pandemonium in Brewtown. The Brewers went on to sweep the series, finishing the year with a 9-4 record against the Yankees. But the loss of Caldwell coupled with a 